Here's an update on the remote dog launcher. Um, what I got is a waterproof box from Home Depot and my 9 volt battery inserts that make battery connection easier um, are somehow about 38 minutes delivered south of me, so that doesn't work. <clears throat> so uh, some things that I changed. Um, I had the same setup for this um, RF controller, but what I did is I added a rocker power switch right here, which the LED will illuminate, and they have different colors, so you know that the unit is on. As you can see, the light turned on on the unit. I'll turn it off, turn it on. And then also I added this momentary switch right here, which is just a simple on-off momentary when you push it. And I was thinking about it when you actually go to load the trap. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to um, just touch a button and have the actuator swing backwards so that you can automatically lock it? So I added that in. So what happens is when the unit is powered on, as you can see the LED, and the RF is working, um, if you were going to um, arm the trap, or the launcher, it will, if you push this, you can hear it working. And then of course, if you grab your remote, it also works this way too. So all I have to do is get my um, nine volt mounts, and I think I'm gonna add a capacitor in line with this, and maybe one uh, low voltage resistor just a couple ohms to drop it down so there's no impedance on it. But um, this is where we're getting, so the next thing would be to do would um, just to put it all in, organize the wires, make it nice and clean so it looks nice, and then waterproof the switches, and then we'll put it on the trap and try it out.